What is going on, gang? We are back on the Necromancer on Project Quorum, level 43. We are 65% into our level. We actually recently died. Um, I'm here with the other Necro, the Mage on his Necro. And uh, we are killing some Barbarian Guards. We tried to go into Hollis and take over that place. Didn't go so well. We were trying to, like, carve out a place to have camp because as you know from the event zone at the very least you cross the water and there's not really a place to set up there's a bunch of npcs there so um we kind of invised in try to find a place where it seemed like there wasn't a lot of foot traffic and uh we were taking on some guards and things just got out of control just a bunch of resists and there was kind of nowhere to run and then guards have sows probably from shaman trainers or something and it got a little bit out of control. And then there was a thing where I got a feign death off successfully. It was fine. Um, but every time I got up, all of the guards in town would just rush at me. Because they were aggroing each other while they're running. So then I stayed feign death for a very long time. And then I got up and nothing came. And I was like, okay, let me cast invis. Let me get out invis. Let me cast invis. I'm going to walk out of here. I rounded a corner and there was like a mob of guards. And they just ran me over like a tsunami or an avalanche or something. So it was unfortunate. I thought the coast was clear. Um, but anyways, we came back yeah, to guard bodies and wow. stuff. I'm in Discord with the mage. And we're just waiting for these spawns. We don't know what the time is. So I'm going to pause it here. And I'll come back when they respawn. We're trying to figure out the spawn time. We just started. We're killing three different barbarian guards. They're all level 40. Literally everywhere is camped. Literally everywhere is camped. It is the weekend. But we'll be right back. So these guys spawned. I'm going to try not to talk over my friend. So I won't say too much. But we can't stay here. We, we're trying to find somewhere else to go. They're, they're like 25 minute spawns. It took them like 25 minutes to respawn. But we're going to kill them. They did. And they guaranteed two-hander every time. It's pretty fucking good. Yeah, it's not bad. Two-hand fine steals. So they dropped the two-handed fine steal every time. Um... There's three of them that we're killing. And they're weaker than the dwarf guards. These guys are are like, they're super weak. Um, they still, you know, like any other guard, they uh, resist um, the snare. I'm gonna put this on. This guy should be respawning any second. Now, I don't think we killed them too far apart. They're, they're already split for you. You don't have to split any of them, which is nice. There's this other green dude. He just does an aggro. Brendan McMill and his pet. There we go. Well, this guy hits hard. Two-hander. Uh, I got bashed. It's not, yeah, I got him. As you can see how fast they're they're dying. They're dying a lot faster than the doors were. Which means if we were to like fine tune it, maybe we could use like one less dot each. Save mana. <clears throat> but the respawn is not there, so it doesn't matter in the end. And that's unfortunate. Alright. So we're going to go kill this last one over here. And then... Try to figure out somewhere else to go. I mean, it's crazy. The, the giants are camped. Um, you know. Everything's camped. You do, like, slash who all grab. 
And there's a couple of enchanters and uh, what? Multiple shaman or shaman. Hmm, one of them left. The shaman of justice. Um, so there's only one enchanter and one mage in Grob now. I guess we should give it a second. Maybe the dude just zoned his pet or something. Probably. But last time we went there when there was like a couple enchanters and a mage, it's just the entire- They're Probably like dueling or something. The entire town was just destroyed. Destroying the zone. So they take one as their pet and then they use that to kill other ones and just the entire zone was cleared out. Uh, we went and checked the other day. Um, the other thing we thought of is killing some of the guards inside of Kaladin. The issue there is that there's so many and they're scrunched together. So it's good that there's a lot, but there's nowhere to maneuver as a necro. Uh, when we were doing it before, we were a necro and... No, we were a shaman and a mage. Nope, yep. can anyone raise? And, um, it just, it worked. We could slow them, so if we did get hit by them, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, we had a mage pet, which is a little stronger than a necro pet when it comes to tanking. And we were just able to slow them and use the mage pet to tank. And, you know, it's just a different dynamic. This guy's up. So we'll try to take this guy out. And you see how often, um... The, uh, here's why I'm not fearing, you know. I do get asked a good amount, like, why I don't fear and sit. And the truth of the matter is, is you see how much they resist, um, the snare, right? Why is my, why I'm not, I don't have my pet on them. <clears throat> they resist fear just as much as they resist snare. So sometimes they'll resist fear three times in a row. Or something like that, and then the fear that that uh, that I have that I'm using, the cheap fear, it only lasts three <clears throat> three ticks. So my voice cracked. I went through puberty, midlife puberty. Um, and so if it only lasts three ticks, like you know, how often are you casting it? And then if they if they resist it. You know, then you're just casting it a bunch of times, Six and you're in an odd, you're in an odd situation. Duo. <laughs> New strat. All right. Well, anyways, I don't know. It's just, uh, I just get on tilt too. Like you resist the the, you resist the uh, snare so many times, and then you finally get you snared, and then you resist the fear so many times, and I'm just losing my mind. I'm losing mana. I don't know. I don't mind the not fearing thing. You know, I was fearing, originally, if you watched the old episodes, I was fearing a ton. Um, I'm just kind of over it. I'm enjoying this. We're thinking about going to Lower Guck, maybe. Um, we did go there before. It's tough. Everywhere's tough right now. Everywhere's loaded. Enchanter and Rob does appear to be gone. And tough. So we're going to figure it out. And we'll see in a bit. Okay, so we're at the docks. We got the docks, somehow. Is your pet tunnel? Yeah, it's not anymore, but it was, yeah. Um, so, not only do our dots stack, but our snare stacks. We're using the exact same spell. So it's not like a higher level snare and a lower level snare. It's the exact same spell. And you can see how slow he's walking now. That's not how slow they walk with one snare on. So the snare stacks, it's crazy. So not only the damage stacks, we discovered this the other day. We had this camp the other day. But we're basically going to kill the two guards here, which are yellow to me. And the home slice over here is... Is docks guards? What are the docks? Like, I don't know. No, it's like the NPCs on the inside. You going to call it? Or should I? Yeah. <clears throat> So these, see, these guys are 
way beefier, way beefier than say those uh, barbar. Oh crap! Oh, he's he's loose. The juice is loose. I'm gonna nuke him. Going around it. I'm gonna leave some life back. So there's a couple different things. The guard is red to him. So the guard doesn't run at 20 to him. But if I can aggro the guard, if I have aggro, the guard will run at 20. It's interesting. Um, She'll be riding six ride horses when she comes. <laughs> interesting dynamic. So one of the guards was dead, but I think it's because they're quadding and they're running around like this. They have to clear a guard to be able to do that. So I think that's what happened there. I'm gonna grab this guy. Um, so watch the snare situation. Hopefully it works out. No, he resisted. So, okay, see, so watch how slow he is and then watch. And now he's walking. It's, it's a little bit subtle. But it's there. He like he trots. I want to say he he trots with one snare on, and then when you get that second snare on, he goes from a little trot to he's just walking, straight walking, which is like interesting. Like uh, for sure, that's not obviously it's not how it is on like P ninety nine. You can't stack dots. Period. But I was like, okay, the damage stacks, but it never in put your pet on. Yeah, my bad. Never in a million years did I think that the snare would uh, stack. That's crazy. It's weird. But I'll take it. This guy has a lot less life because he's level 40. <clears throat> the other... Let's deal with our other guard. The other guards are much higher level. Is he there? No. Oh, he yeah. spawns in the back, right? So they might pull No, him. he spawns in the front and then he walks in immediately. Did you loot that other guard? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. So either this guard, I mean, it's they're on a 10 minute spawn timer here. And I feel like we've been here nearing 10 minutes. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the guard. We're trying to figure that out. Now, my best assumption is somebody killed it because they're... Wouldn't that be cool if Diablo 4 was, was like a good game? And it was worth playing. Oh, that'd be great. Something else to play. That'd be fantastic. Just a go-to that we could just, you know, like Diablo 2. Another one. But with better graphics and just newer and, and stuff we don't know already? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's just make something that's fucking pure garbage that <laughs> no one plays. You know all, those, all the uh, guys who, like, so a lot, some of them made their careers like you know streaming Diablo 4 or whatever they like kind of blew up when Diablo 4 came out they're all playing Path of Exile now if you go if you go back and look at all of those dudes because I was like you know I was hyped for that game so I was like watching all the, all the content creators and all that stuff and then you look at them now and they're all playing Path of Exile yeah they can't just take the the platform the graphics the characters the, everything and then just remodeled, revamp the game like to different talent tree, different you know whatever loot system, different gearing system. Why couldn't they do that? Yeah, who knows? Because it's all just a ploy to get as much money as possible, squeeze the lemon completely dry. You know that's that, that's just Activision Blizzard now. It's sad but true. Um, I mean, they almost did that with Diablo 2 with the Resurrected, but that was, it's got its own issues. I think that even if, well, people would be, it's free, right? The game's free, so you just pay for it. Why don't, why wouldn't they just try to make another monthly sub game and make it good? Is that too much of an investment? It wouldn't be, no. Monthly subs don't do anything anymore. It's all microtransactions now. The amount of money they make off any company makes off of micro transactions like dwarfs pun intended the uh not really a pun but reference intended um, only 
any month. Only at certain times, though, right? Or is it every month, just on average? No, it's all the time. Like, we don't understand because we don't dump our wallets into these things. But there's people out there who just dump their wallets into these things. This is your guard loot right here. I'm hoping this, this guard's not, you, like, you, bugged or something. Pay, see, this is what I don't understand. How do you pay bills and rent and shit? Like, where... How does that happen? Know, like, most people just live at home now. Like... We're old, right? We're older for gamers or whatever, the EverQuest community or whatever. <laughs> we're like older, but, and we're looking to play Diablo 2 and stuff, you know, these old games. But like the modern kids that are like teenagers and low 20s, they all live at home, all of them. And what if that's not an option? I mean, it should, shouldn't be an option, right? Well, I mean, no, like, you know, when we were that age, you know, we pretty much, you know, got told to leave if you don't wanna, oh, you don't wanna, you know, take out the trash and feed the cats and not go drink with your friends and do whatever. You gotta get it. You don't want to go to college uh, this year. You want to go next year? Yeah, oh, do no, exactly not cool. what we say, right? Yeah. Get out of my house. Which is fair. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's that makes sense. I mean, I'm not mad. I love my parents or whatever, but like, yeah, yeah. you know, that's the way it is. They don't really want you there forever anyways. They're like, get out of here so it's, I can... It's a good, but it's a good lesson, too, because it's like, you don't, you know, you don't get a fucking free ride, you know? Like if well, you're not... look who it is. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, look at him. Get your trash out of here, bro. This guy's coming right for me. Jeez. <laughs> Coming from Necros. It's <laughs> pretty good. Hmm. Is this other Necro over here? What's that? No, somebody inside of the. I think killing the stuff inside the docks. No, these bitches over here. Who's? Well, these bitches are up. There's no necro pulling this stuff around. There is. There was a necro over there. I saw him. But yeah. if he's not killing him, we can kill him. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just gonna pull him over here. You can. You can split off me. I'll pull one. Watch. This will be super easy. I. I. I double kill these things all the time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that one off of you. Oh. Well, they're both snares. So easy. Oh, so Pandrax said. He said he saw that that guard wandering as he ran from the druid ring. That bard, uh -oh. that bard is the one killing like random stuff, I think. Because he he's got the fuck that. Let's go look for him, maybe. Uh, wandering. Yeah, I think because maybe the got, like low HP and the guy probably died or is low HP or something. And it's just regening slowly out there. Probably. That's my theory. I'm taking it. Got it. All right. Yeah. Um. So that bar that's been here like the last week or whatever, he's uh, he was asking what what we're killing. I told him mainly the two at the at the docks and then this one at the stone, but that we're just killing like whatever's up. <laughs> I mean, if people aren't killing it, we're gonna kill it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. He just asked what we were killing, so that's what I said. We can go look for this guy. He, I mean, the ranger might have went to grab it for, for us. I don't know if he wants to hit, take the hit, though. Yeah, so maybe I, I he didn't. 
tell them to track that shit first. True. What's his name? Like Dunlin? Yeah, he, he was trying to tell me. Dun. Dunlin, something like that. Done will work. I accidentally told it to that freaking bard. So these guys are both level 25, so it's another it's option. Dubious to me. What's level 25? These guards are here? Yeah, those two guards are like level 25. Still like blue. So we're just chilling and talking. I realize the recording's going. I don't have much time, per the huge. I'm gonna try to get this level though. We need 30%. Hopefully I can bust it out. Just work's been a beast. Um, so the, the initial guard is back. Which one? The dark guard? Yeah, Clendon. Buff my pet. Stone guards already up to. Stone guard. All right, keep turning on that stupid thing. Yeah, these guys have so much life. It's crazy. Yeah, that hurt, huh? I'm gonna put, I forgot we had to double snare these. I'm gonna put it back on. He resisted. I'm just gonna nuke him down. So oh, shit. <sighs> you got aggro, watch out. Yeah. I wish I would grab, let me, let me do the snaring so that hopefully I can grab aggro so they run at 20%. It's, it's fine. Brittany was talking to me. It was distracting. It would be nice if they'd freaking run at 20%, though. Alright, you aggro this dude on low. Looks like he's dual wielding, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the bard is telling me. I don't understand. Oh, he's already almost dead. I forgot. Oh, well. I'll regenerate with that. Forgot that was the low-level guard. I loaded him up. I 
I didn't, but I'm pretty low. Yeah, me too. What was that guy's name? Oh, two eyes. It's level 41 bard. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Where? He's walking back to his spot. Is he low HP? No. no. I'm Stop low everything stroll. though, but let's kill him and then I guess med. You can kill him right now? Yeah. Which model do you have? Enough if he doesn't resist. <laughs> so we're good. Did he? No. if things do go right, you can get a lot of sitting and metting in without using fear. You have to stand and cast fear anyways. How long does that take? You can use that time to run when he's snared and you're sewed. I don't know. That's if things are going correctly. So if I stood up, cast fear, sit back down. I, mean, I don't know. I don't think there's that big of a difference. And you're also using mana to fear. And it's a high resisted spell. But easily easier said when we're in a duo because uh, he's dying twice as fast as normal. Get him to run here. Oh, he lost his thing. Play a little ping pong here. Hopefully he'll run right here. There he goes. But now I need to med up. I guess these are my loots. <laughs> uh, where am I? All right, so time for a little bit of a of a med sesh here. Whose pet is that? Whose pet is that? Is that your pet, or am I tripping? Is your pet's name? Yeah. Okay, he's doing weird stuff on my screen. He was on guard over there, I think. On guard. Alright, so this is what we're doing. Just sitting and chatting. Uh, we've got a bit of a med here. I do want to take this time to shout out, and this is deep in the video, I should have done this in the beginning, but I do want to shout out Darth Stapler, who was uh, talking about splitting the bugged dwarves is tough work, have some coffee, thanks for the entertainment, dying like a noob and all of that stuff, cheers my dude, thank you very much, very much appreciated, keeping me going, coming home from work, Got to go back to work early, trying to find some camp to do. 
Same problems we all got, really, but uh, the caffeine you provide helps me do it. Helps me flick that switch to turn on the record. The record button, if you would. So thank you very much. Much appreciated. With that, we're going to sit here in med. There's a giant tree right in front of me. We're going to sit here in med and wait uh, for some spawns. They're taking out the, the girls inside there. And we'll see you guys in a bit. We're going to get this level. Totally forgot to unpause it for a bit. Oh, this is the, this is the weak guard. I gotta remind myself that. Although I do need to put a leech on. But it's been going good. A druid rolled through. Um, Wolfdar. And he, uh... Just threw a chloro on us earlier and a skin like wood. Nature. Skin like nature. So that was cool of him. The chloro is long gone, but the skin like nature is there. Looks like my so is running out. <laughs> this is going good. You can see we are at 87% now. It is getting late need to log out soon but we're going to push and we're going to get the we're going to get this level done. <clears throat> it's a big level for me as I will be 44 when I level and uh, that's when I can put my new spells on which I don't have on me. For whatever reason, oh I had a sew on. He also sewed us. Nice. I guess I should have realized that. Such a turd. Got him. It's that MR. That MR is so high. So when you have situations like that, that can also happen to fear. And, oh, man, I, I'm sorry. I just... I can only take so many resists. Who was there? Somebody was there to see it. But we got resisted 12 times in a row once. Insane. We, we usually never get resisted more than four times. Like, four is usually, like, to a point to where I was like, all right, there's something where every time you get resisted, it's a little less likely that you're going to get resisted again. So by the time you get four resists in a row on a mob that's not red, that's how I was feeling. I don't know if I'm just running around. But, because it's always around, it's like never past four. I was one time we got 12 resists where like I didn't even want to do it anymore but I was like I got to know when this when this stops and then what ended up happening is there was a druid with us there well I'm or was bad. it the ranger I forgot who was there but one of you were there and hanging out with us cast it three times does he need another one I don't know if you if you want see how he's trying yep yeah. Nope. <laughs> he resisted. No, he resisted me three times. See how he's trotting in the watch? He's trotting. Run it out. I just want to prove a freaking point. So we're going to do it again. Just to show it again. Okay, he's tr- Oh my god. No, he's running full speed. So we lost it. <laughs> oh, he's full speed now. Now you've done it. But just cr crazy resists. Crazy amounts of resists. I want to show the double snare just to get it, get a better angle on everything. It sucks when he's running at you. It's good when he's running sideways. You can clearly see with one snare he's trotting and then with the second snare he just starts walking. Um, which again is just really odd to me so I wanted to get a nice picture of it on here. Picture of the situation, I mean. Um... So whoever it was, a druid or a or a ranger, I think, they saw it, and then they landed the snare. But they got resisted twice as well. So they resisted me six times, they resisted him six times, they resisted 
that the viewer two times and then on their third attempt they landed it it was crazy insane it was one of these cards right here it was the other day that was that's the craziest resist fest that i've seen with a mob that's not even red that's also not immune and we're not talking about raiding and stuff obviously those guys are super resisting he's going to sell shout out to cargos not from this game. I don't know anybody named Cargos in this game, but Cargos, the the godfather of hardcore, wow, honor system, like five years ago at this point. All right, so doing pretty good. Eleven more percent. We don't have the spells on us, like I was saying, but I do have the research spells in the bank. So we will pick all that stuff up after we after we get the ding, then we gotta go shopping for the other spells. <clears throat> I should actually piece together some of my gear, but I've just been hoarding my money. But I think I just got a little intel that maybe I'll need less, less uh, money in the future. So maybe I can spend some of that on some gear and uh, and just hook it up. Golden Afridis, obviously I need them. I haven't really upgraded my boots because we do want Golden Afridis eventually, but it's still a hefty price. Like, somewhere under 3k. Um, we really don't need these rings. Like, it's nice. The HP is nice, too, for, like, Lich and such. But we, we could, you know, um, put some int, int rings on. I forget what they are. I think, he ha I think the other Necro has them. But there's some stuff that we can obviously do better on. And maybe we just do that now. Weapons. Say fuck it. Watch. See if you notice a difference now. I'm not going to notice. I'm too stupid. I just won't notice. We'll notice. We'll be like, whoa, it's so fast, dude. Nah, impossible. Like four times faster. From one, one bet. <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. I left my lich on, and I'm almost dying now. I'm half live. That's what we need. Nothing exciting here, once again. Just these stupid dwarves that I'm actually kind of getting sick of, but, I mean, people sit here for a long time. I wish I could get somewhere else. We tried to do the barbarians. It didn't work out. Unfortunately, the spawn time is just so long. We went to Grob um, a couple of times. Both times were a bust, and now we just keep eyes on it. I'm not going to go now. It's too late for me, but... I mean, there's just always a ton of people there. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of people. There's always a ton of people there. Um, you know, Agox the same way, and I think it's too low for me now. But I think, but I mean, there's always just people there. Always a bard too, right? Swarming them all in the middle. Um, so it's just been rough, and I don't. My play hours aren't aren't good for the down for off peak hours my play time is just super peak hours because i work like the normal i want to say like nine to five but it's not i work at four in the morning until 2 30 typically sometimes till 4 30 and uh even on the days i work till 2 30 even if i am to log in around 3 30 so like immediately upon getting home the server's already at like 1200 and change so it's pretty packed. I mean, there's no 1800. It used to be like 1800. Remember those days? Holy crap. But then, you know, a couple hours go by and then it's at 14 and change. Um, and then it stays that way. Maybe it drops back down to maybe 12 and change by the time I have to go to bed. Because I got to go to bed early. So people people stay on, you know, probably like 9 or 10 o'clock. But I got to be off already by, those, by that time just because I wake up so early. And, you know, I got I to like prepare for bed as well. All that kind of stuff. So let's give it a minute here. We'll do another round. Yeah. So we got the mob up again. Yeah. There's just so many weird quirks and stuff. I just want to know exactly. And then there's a new server. Oh. What's up? Hey, what's up? Another friend joins the fray. So there might be, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen now, so, uh, 
we'll do this round and then I'm gonna pause it. And we'll get a little closer, we'll get to the last round basically. It's always an interesting juggle when you have, uh, when I'm making a video, but then I'm also duoing, so we're in Discord. So I do that with, um, <clears throat> I do that with, uh, with the mage here, and I also do that with Marrow, and it works out pretty well. Um, but the more people you get in there, like if we got four people in here, I just, I like, I would feel like I can't make a video at that point. I would have to either leave or make a video another time. So we're going to apply another snare. We'll watch him. Well, he's slower now, but I grabbed aggro. But you can see how he's visibly slower. He went from trotting to walking. Oh, well, we're just going to have to deal with that. That's the visual we're going to get. bunch of EverQuest news came out for like, I mean, it's been a while now. It's been a few days, I mean. For like, Year of the Dark Paw or something. And, uh, it's EverQuest's big anniversary, 25 an year anniversary or whatever, so they're doing a bunch of stuff for the 25th anniversary, giving a bunch of, I don't know, crap, quite frankly, out. Like every month there's like free this, free that. It's just like in-game junk that I think, you know, it just pertains to to live. So I don't, you know, it's only for really for people I believe that are like running, that are still into the live game. This guy is still alive. Just die already, brother. Holy moly. I wasn't prepared. This is my round, I think. We have a funky... A funky rotation, because that first guard was up, and we never really gave it time to reset. We just, we've just kept killing it over and over. So it goes, like, one at the docks, and then one over here, and then one at the docks again. And it's really just awkward. And I'm... My brain's fried at this point. This is the end of my day, and it was a busy day, so, you know, this is when I know I should be logging out, but we're pushing to get this level. And so I mess up, I attempt to mess up the rotation sometimes, or I'll just forget what's going to spawn when, or how much time do I have. It's easier when you kill the two at the docks, one, two, and then one over here, and then you know, okay, I got it like a solid five plus minutes before the rotation starts again. But now it's kind of like over here and then over here and then there's a little gap and then this one and then the next gap is a little shorter but it's still at the docks. It's just kind of weird. So somebody ended up taking the uh, the two gals over at the stones. There's somebody like using them in, as part of a quad kite or something. Oh. So we've tightened this up a little bit it seems. Pretty good though, pretty good. I mean, there was, there was again, the second snare went in and you see him visibly get slower. I don't know I'm so fascinated by that. I just think it's really weird. I mean, there's plenty of changes and weird things on this server. I mean, the dots, the damage is stacking, you know? We can both put the exact same dots and nothing happens. It doesn't override anybody's, kick it off, block it, nothing. But for some reason, I'm stuck on that double snare. <laughs> I wonder if that happens. I wonder if that works with like, because I don't think it's, I don't think it worked with like Marrow and I, or did it? I don't know, Marrow, if you're out there, like, 
weigh in on this. I don't know if it worked where our do our snares were stacking. I feel like at first it was overriding it. And then at some point in one of the previous videos, the last time we were hanging out, I think he mentioned, oops, I just snared over your Dooming Darkness. And I was like, actually, my Dooming Darkness is still on. I still see the damage ticking. Um, so I wonder if something changed because his used to kick mine off in the earlier play sessions. Killing him way up on the mountain. Let's go retrieve our loot. So that was, that was a pretty good uh, round, as you can see. I'm not even in Lich, and I still have 65% mana. So that was a pretty good round. We have extra, we could go kill those girls, but they're being taken. Um, you could try to run really far and kill something, but there's people everywhere, so it's just not really worth it. Uh, but not all pulls go that way. Sometimes you get the resists, like we've seen earlier. And when he's getting resisted, and I'm getting resisted, and then maybe that happens two out of the three mobs, then you do need this full, you know, time to, to rest up. But there we are, 91% in. When we get within about 2 to 3%, I'll unpause it and say my farewells, but we're going to work on this level a little bit more. More of the same freaking dwarves. So we might be leveling here. I thought it was going to take another round, but that last mob gave a little more XP than I anticipated. And this mob, I anticipate possibly leveling, but we might need one tiny blue tick right there. We might be 99.9 .9 or something. So we'll just have to wait and see. But it's been going good. Um, I'm a little bit late. I need to get out of here. But uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to make the push and just get over the hump. If I don't, if I don't make these pushes, then I'll, I'll never get anywhere. So I got to just keep on keeping on. Hopefully the next schedule is going to be okay, but I still have a seven day work in a row. Well, at least seven days, the rest of the schedule, there's seven more days on the schedule currently. So I still have to do that. Um, but, but outside of that, I'm hoping that the, the future schedule after that, first of all, I'm hoping I'm off the first day of the next schedule. So I don't work eight days in a row. But then uh, I'm also hoping that the next week has just... Uh, it's less crazy. Don't work as much. But I won't know until the day before the schedule comes out. I'm just going to nuke this guy in celebration of possibly doing it. So, uh, he just leveled. He just dinged 42. He's right behind me. I'm going to ding 44. And it did not level us, so we need to wait out one more. We got just like, probably can't see it on the video, but literally 0.1%. So we're going to do another round here. And, uh... Did you ding? No, I literally need like 0.1%. But, I mean, some safe XP is never terrible. Yeah. I'm going to go warm my pizza. For like a minute or two. Yep. That's some late eating. But, uh, okay. So, I'm going to pause it here for like five minutes. And then we're going we're gonna to finish this out. I did see, just now, I saw that there's a new Drama Quest episode um, about Quorum. And uh, it's with secrets, so um, it's the uh, you know the guild leader of uh, Zade, the Zade God, the the guild leader of Faceless. He does. I don't think I don't know if I've talked. I think I have talked about this before, but he has a YouTube channel, and then he does these drama quest videos, and they're absolutely amazing. It's all servers, all the way back from you know back in the day, <clears throat> like 1999 to the early 2000s all the way up to each and pretty much each and every TLP release. And he just gets these 
these char- these people who played characters in they were either like man uh g uh geez the guild masters or like officers within like the big top guilds that were uh fighting for racing for you know tags and stuff like that with the raid mobs uh a lot of it was prior so i'm like losing my voice a lot of it was prior to um instancing and aocs and all that kind of stuff so uh amazing episodes you guys got to check those out they're so good but they're they're called drama quest and then he has somebody on there and um i gotta turn lich off i should actually leech that guy <clears throat> but anyways so there's a brand new one out just came out a matter of hours ago and uh i can't wait to listen to that while i'm at work or something so in the next video I'll talk about it a little bit probably because it's about our server and our home here and it'll be interesting. It's a, I think it's about, it's a little over two hours, maybe two and a half hours between him and Secret and just talking about shooting the shit about the server. So anyways, I'll unpause it here in just a minute. So we got ourselves a pop. This is going to be it. We're doing it, guys. Can't see my keyboard. My microphone's in the way. And I'm just in chill mode. Falling asleep at the keyboard a little bit. I'm tired. Um, that's everything. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. I'm, gonna put, it. Eh, I'm not going to put a lich on. I'm just going to chill it and regain my health. This is the last round. Anyways, um, so I would uh, the plan will really the plan was to revisit or initially and originally was to revisit solo grob at level 44 new spells so was going to go try to solo grob but since then I've been doing a little more with the necro and I've come to realize that grob is full all the time. I didn't realize how hot of a spot it is. But it really is. So now we're gonna put on the old lich. Uh, so that's gonna spoil those pl that plan. Um, so we'll figure out what's next. Uh, I was looking at Kedge Keep earlier, and they were raiding in there, which shouldn't really matter. Oops. Or, that's a lot of people. So I, so it's the same former glory. They were in there. I wonder what they're doing. I'm not sure. They were in there earlier too, but there was another guild I don't recall. A ding. A ding. Sorry, I didn't realize you pulled this guy. Shit, congrats. We are level 44. I wonder if I'm cool with ogres yet too. I gotta go check. I've been killing so many dwarves, and you get your ogre crackneck warriors up, so. I wanna go check and see, like, if I can chill in there. A lot of dwarves be dead. I'm gonna go gr get my pizza. Is it not gonna act on me? Fuck. Yep. I'll let you know I'm gonna wait. Look at him. He's fucking down. Dude, that's pretty cool. I don't know what that was, but that was cool. So we got one more mob here. Um, no, these are his loot. Oh, here he is. Oh, yep, let's cast it on the guy's corpse there.
I don't think I can get it off, right? Oh, he stunned him! I got it off. Nice. That's a lot of corpses. Gotta loot this stuff. Before some little lobby comes and takes all your plaid. So we can solo these, but we'll see if he comes back or not. While well, this guy's still alive, but you'll see how, how long it takes to... Uh, to take one of these guys down solo. They have 6,000 life, these guards right here. It's a ton of life. It's a <laughs> You had to output a lot of damage. And the pets really do a crap load. Um, let's actually, uh, These corpses are yours. There's a couple of them. The greedy beggar is gonna take your loot. This greedy beggar. A couple people, since we've been here, we've seen a couple people come and do this quest. He like follows you around as you go kill stuff. It seems like I'm getting more experience this level. How much do you have so far? Let me guess. 5%. Almost 10. Almost 10%? With this kill, I'll have 10%. Seems like I, a lot. When I needed 9%, you needed 4%. And now I'm at one percent, or I'm gonna be at two percent while you're at ten. So you like you did you you were where am I? You were like six ahead of me, and now you're what is even that five? You were five ahead of me, and then now you're um, eight. Oh my god, my brain I'm is lost, just... I'm at nine percent. Alright, I mean, I guess that's only <laughs> the difference of one, then. I don't know. Who knows? Alright, well, anyways, we did it. We got it. What's next? I don't know. First things first, though. We're gonna go get our spells. Uh, we got dead men floating now. We got a new nuke. And a new shielding, which I need to use more often. And then, uh... That is about it. We gotta figure out where we're gonna go and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll try to duo something cool. It's just really hard to find uh, open stuff. We might end up having to get in some gut groups, but we'll see how it goes. I will see you in the next video.